Hi guys, uh, it's Sylvia here, Tandy Art. Uh, I wanted to do, uh, show you today the stamps um, produced by uh, AB Studio Aga Baraniak. And some of them will be my design, some of them will be her design. So, um, you probably have seen on the website already, they are absolutely gorgeous. They're high quality rubber stamps um, made entirely in Poland by Aga. Um, so, they're not coming from China. Um, they're coming like this without the foam. So, you need to either uh, get the foam yourself, but I don't use the foam. I show you how to use without it. Uh, a little bit of the, they stick actually, they're kind of sticky, a little bit sticky. So, you can put a little bit of the transparent double sided um, tape literally one drop and it will hold them in place or a tiny drop of water will hold them in place and they're absolutely fine um, this was uh, those stamps um, are just perfect for you know mixed media also but mainly cards tags they're very fine lines very detailed um, which was a challenge for me it was easy to design but to work with them you know, I'm very messy with my work, so I just blob everything. So here I had to put a little bit more effort and Aga was teaching me how to <laughs> actually, um, how to stamp with them. So they don't, they come out really nicely. Look at this detail here. I don't know if you can see. Um, so what I do today, I show you how to use them. And we will design simple, simple tags. Look how gorgeous they are. I color them with watercolors. I show you how. We'll create simple. I show you simple watercolor backgrounds. I use them. I cut them. Then I use them for tags. I made tags myself. Um, we'll need some literally leftovers of your like laces, paper, scrapbooking paper just to add a little bit of texture to it. But I show you how I color them, how I create the background. Very simple, really cute, um, really cute tags. Okay, it needs a little bit of practice for the picture to come out, but uh, at least for me. <laughs> but don't worry if you won't get it first time. Um, I, I practice a bit because I, I was always, I'm always like this, putting stamps and those, they need a little bit of more precision, uh, if that makes sense. So I know Aga will be going on holiday soon. So that's, I think, the last few days of uh, putting the orders. And after that, there will be actually, I think in the August, uh, she'll be sending um, most of the orders. Um, so if you want to make a purchase, then I will leave the links to the shop after the video. Okay, AB Studio Tandy Art. All right. Uh, I will make another video tutorial also which um, which will be about the stencils and how to work with them. So, uh, okay, let's put those on side and grab some watercolor paints and paper. I'll be back one second. I'm back here. Um, so I love those watercolor pads by Prima. Uh, I love the square ones and I have bigger one. I'll show you. Uh, that's for the next tutorial. We're making stencils. So that's 20 by 20, I think. And this one is uh, 6 by 6 inch. So I have some watercolors as well here. So what we'll do is we take the fluffy brush. Remember to have clean water and just make circles just show you really simple background make circles with water you can put a straightaway paint um, okay and now I'll be adding as you can see I'll be adding some paints and I always add two colors in look just a touch of it so pretty so you can play like this with the colors. So they will spread where the water was. Don't worry about the shapes. They don't have to be kind of, you know, exact 
its shapes. Oh, look at this. Now there's many tutorials how to do it. This is for me, it's very, very basic, very simple backgrounds because I love creating my own backgrounds. I'll be talking a lot today, it will be a bit longer tutorial, but sometimes I think it's better to explain. Like I was like, please do the talking one. So I am. So leave the comments if you have any suggestions, any other tutorials you'd like to see. We'll do our best to create them. You can also paint. You can do splashes, they can connect, don't worry. It's all about background, so don't worry about that. So when this dries, when this dries, then I will an add another layer of circles. So they will create that um, kind of overlapping look like here. See? I'll show you now. I'll put that on the side to dry. Let it dry itself. And I have here the circles, right, I did earlier on. Um, so what I meant is over to create another circle, circle overlapping this ones that's a bit too much so with paper with watercolors always have paper towel on the side okay yay you can make different shapes doesn't have to be only circles the hearties that green is gorgeous with that's prima, I think, tropical set. See, so it gives that three D effect. Okay, it's really fun project. And I am not really particular about, you know, oh god, that doesn't come Now, from my experience, do some edges as well. You can just choose because you can still use them. Oh, really cute background. You can cut them into smaller pieces, use them in collages. Sometimes if you don't have maybe... Um, uh, if you don't have kind of creative module to create concrete project, you can just play with that and you can make come up with something. So, I think it's pretty done here. Okay, and leave it to dry. I'll be back one minute. I think I want to do a little bit more doodling on this, so it's almost dry. And I use actually these are the Prismacolor Premier um, crayons, and they're absolutely gorgeous. So you can just add the doodles if it's for the background. You can even like create the flowers out of the bubbles. Do do do. Would be gorgeous. So whatever tickles your <laughs> creative mojo is absolutely fine. You know I love playing. I think it would be gorgeous background, what do you think? Those um, crayons, they're quite expensive but they're so worth it. They're very creamy and they work on paints. On, um, uh, they work on paints, they're so brilliantly pigmented as well so I think I think I'm okay I'm very happy with this um, now I need to cut I know it'll be it's a cool background itself but um I need to cut it uh, into kind of tags I make tags myself Should we, I cut it into the pieces and come back so I think they came out really nicely. Um, look at this, so cute. Even if you have a kind of edge like this, don't throw it away. You can always add little pieces 
um, to it. So how I create my tag, I have this thing which just around the corners. You probably have all those fancy machines which make tags. I don't. Um, I know you can buy also, I think washer colors, tags, tags as well, and then I punch the hole. Yay! And my tags are ready. Okay. So, this one that I need to... So, very simple for someone's birthday. Those are my use in the collages. Um, I also have this tag here, so bigger one. Stamps are quite a smaller size, they are around 8 centimeters. Whoops, my machine, I think it's full inside of. Okay. and there you go so this is my base for the stamp now about for the tag sorry now about stamping let's go down to the business of stamps so I put them on the side just a bit a little bit wet so again I will use that pad so they will come to you like this, um, the packaging, uh, they'll stick on the paper, I love that bunny, oh. so I'll make a bunny I think, so basically I put him on the block, I have to buy all those blocks because I never used them before, and my ink pad is, and my ink pad is, here. So I'm using the Ranger Archival Ink, it's waterproof because I will be coloring this with the watercolor so I don't want the ink to move. So this is my favorite. So I used to do this pressing and putting and Naga said no no no. Okay so now I take, I put the stamp first on the block and then I gently press against it until all my seeds coming out until it's okay if it comes up a little bit on his face brush it off like this gently and let's pray it works <laughs> okay okay then press it Yay! Look at this cutie pie! Really cute! Will we try another one? I did Teddy. Um, let's take a look. Mr. Lion. I use those hearts on its own for like a background. And this I love Agus stitches and I use them as well on its own. You can cut them actually make them separate, uh, I'll be using them as well. So let's place Mr. Lion. Remember, gently, gently. I... Like this. Aga, you'll be proud of me. <laughs> okay, let's see. Up. I didn't put in much enough ink, so let's try again. That's okay. That's okay. You see, I'm still learning. Or maybe I didn't press too hard. You know, sometimes I prefer to oop, get up. Yay! So it's all about the precision. You see here, I didn't. Uh, I put the ink, but I didn't press it. Here, I got up <laughs> and pressed it. So they're ready to be colored. So give me a few seconds to ink to set. And you see those I'm using 
like this because I don't have to have the full image I'm using it as a background stamp and the stitches are gorgeous as well look at this love it okay I'll be back so these are my two bunny and the lion so this is this base of the stump and here I created as you can see yesterday just a little bit of lace and then I put another piece of watercolor paper and go around with the watercolor paints just to give the edge and I already add some stitches to it so I think I could do the lion on this one for the boy and the bunny for the girl so let's color I hope you can see so you need to get clean water and small small brushes small watercolor brushes okay from like two four six eight okay so my bunny bunny of course will be pink so how I color is don't worry if you go over something. So those tiny elements, I can fill them in with uh, crayons. I usually do that. Okay. So always add second color to it. So I might add. I want them to go with the. I will add a little bit of yellow. Here. So just take your time with this. Okay. What I do is usually around the edges, I just add a bit darker so we have this kind of definition. There is a little bit turquoise there on the tag, so I will add this as well here and there. The green bunny. Okay. Okay. Leave her now. I might add a little bit to her feet. It doesn't have to be kind of perfect. We can go over with different things. And I have greens and blues here, so I might make him a little bit brown. Forgive me that it's such a long story, but I really think sometimes it's important just to explain everything. He'll be super cutie. them darker so he stands out. Can you see? Whoop. Okay, Okay. first layer, we let them dry and we add a little bit more, okay, shadows and stuff. Okay, so you can add depth in two ways. You can add a little bit more of the same color. Um, And 
Master Lion. So I usually add it on the edges, a second layer when the previous one is dry. And give me a little bit of shadow and eyes. Oop. Super cute. Okay. Um, I will add some more depth with the crayons. Yeah. Isn't she cute? Bye. Some stuff I can leave it even white. Oh, the carrots need to be, of course. Okay, I think she's done. I might add later on the tuck. Hey, Mr. Super cute, and she needs some chicks too. Okay, perfect. I cut them out now nicely, and we actually add better. now we'll keep it simple that's the tag you remember um, I just add a bit another bit of watercolors here and I literally teared little pieces of like vintage paper tiny bit of lace I will use just a regular glue um, okay And tiny bit of lace for him to stick out. Okay, so I might add a bit of paper here so he is a bit. I don't have 3D, <laughs> those 3D little foams, they're handy as well for that. So Literally, I'll stuck him. Look, why am I keep on going? Okay, my camera is off the camera. Oh. So, just to give a 3D effect, I just put two pieces of paper. So, well, look at him. He's ready. He's ready. And look, if you feel like, oh, I might add a little bit of brown to the edges because I have brown on him, you know, you can on any stage. Yay. So simple, so simple. Use any medium to color them, you know, any medium. Cute, this one is ready. So then let's do our bunny, 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 bunny. I love this. Look how this flower came out really cool. Probably won't be visible, but what we'll give her one second. So for her, I just picked out a few little bits of paper. That's probably will be covered all this, but that's okay. Now that's all about layering. Do, do, do. Those power trims. 
bit of um, book pages. Sari, literally whatever you have. scraps just the scraps perfect I might add a bit of gesso on that uh, trim so it's not that flashy pink okay just to tone it down a bit and um, this is I love this this is the mask of AB studio and what I want to do is add a tiny bit of stars, distressing makeup sponge, and ah, gorgeous here and there, just a touch, and some stumps. I love the stitches stunch, stump, stump, stunch. It's got the, see the definition? It's literally really cute. Okay, I might give her a little bit of stump as well, so she blends in. Brilliant, now I can glue her to And again, I use pieces of paper if you have a bit of cardboard or something which gives the 3D effect. You see, I'm usually improvising, as always, <laughs> as long as it's not too big on her head. That'll be a very long video, but that's okay. Just let me know if you prefer like talking, describing. It's not the best glue as well, but that's okay. Uh, put there on top. There. And how I do, I take a few trims like this few trims like this and put them through here Wee. and there you go the stamp Sharp scissors. St my stumps are ready. Ready, ready. What do you think? Easy peasy. Hopefully, you fall in love with our stamps. And okay, see you at the next tutorial. Bye. Okay, I'm back again because I just got a message from Aga. Please, please say that um, all the um, orders will be um, shipped from 26th of July because Aga is going on holidays and she can't take the big machine with her, which I suggested strongly, <laughs> which, burn, which creates the stumps. And she also sent me a message, guys, that there will be 10% of discount when she comes back. So you might, that, that's for your waiting time, you know, um, so you might wait till then. And I will create more tutorials to tease you a little bit. And next one will be with the stencils. So uh, check out the website, AB Studio. Uh, I put the link below. Okay, bye.